human animal. You are a very special breed. For you are the only animal who can think, who can reason, who can read. Now all your pets are smart, that's true. But none of them can add up two and two because the only thinking animal is you, you, you. How did you like that music? Did you ever wonder how there is one of the most important parts of your body? I'll show you. <laughs> now your ear does two jobs. It hears and it helps you keep your balance. But its main job is hearing. Let's start with early man. The most important thing his ears did was to warn him of danger. All through history, man's ears have been one of his chief sources of progress. They brought him information which gave him ideas. And with his power to think and plan, he created things, which all add up to civilization as we find it today. You know how I know all of these things? I get them out of books. You can find anything you want to know from books. Yes, sir, everything about anything, or vice versa. Let's see what we can find on hearing. Here's the eye, the nose. This ought to show you. The ear. Now, this isn't a picture of a freeway. It's a diagram of your ear, built finer than any watch or airplane ever made. Well, to see what happens when the ear hears sound, let's take a tune on a trip through the ear. To get on our way, two things are needed. The source of sound and a guy with ears. Ears? <laughs> oh, well, I'm just a cricket. The sound waves of the tune float freely in the air until they come in contact with the ear. Now, there are three main sections to the ear. The outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The sound waves are gathered in by the outer ear and carried into the auditory canal, where, right at the entrance, is the insect trap to stop flying insects and dust. Let's follow our tune as it strikes the eardrum. And it works much like a drumstick beating a drum. When the tune reverberates through the drum skin, we're into the middle ear. Here the tune is picked up by the auditory ossicles, but it's a lot easier to call them the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup, because they resemble these objects. By the way, they're the smallest bones in your body. They act as a little relay station and pass the tune along as far as the inner ear. tune will travel through this gadget, uh, called the cochlea. And this is where it really gets heard. Looks like a snail shell, doesn't it? The cochlea is a spiral filled with fluid and contains the organ of corti. Now, the organ of corti is, uh, uh, just a minute. Remember what I said about getting things out of books? Let's see now. The cordy organ consists of thousands of little receptors, and each one is connected to several tiny hair cells that look a lot like harp strings and work much the same way. The short strings take the high notes, and the long strings, the low notes. The harp usually has 46 strings. But the cordy organ has nearly 24,000 of them. The different tones of the tune vibrate the different sections of the cordy organ. And this vibration carries the tune to the auditory nerve, 
This is the main line going to the big depot, the brain. Here the tune arrives all together again, in full harmony, pitch, timbre, and volume. I'll bet that seems like a long trip. But do you know how long it actually took the tune to travel from here all the way through to here? Well, sir, the whole trip took less time than that. Remember earlier I said the ear does two jobs? Well, we've gone over the first, hearing, and now its second job is to help you keep your balance. Here's the balance apparatus that does the job, the semicircular canals. They're filled with fluid and work something like the carpenter's level. When you tilt your head in any direction, the liquid presses harder against some nerve cells than others and sends the message to your brain. That's why you can sit in a rocking chair blindfolded and know the position of your body while slowly rocking. Now watch the balance apparatus work. When the rocker goes too far, the message is flashed to the brain then to the foot, and bam, foot stops the fall. Also, the balance apparatus imparts to your brain the different speeds you travel. And the way kids travel today, believe me, their balance apparatus gets a workout. you are. You've seen some of the wonders of your ear. It's a wonderfully constructed thing, but you got to take care of it. There's an old rule that says, never stick anything in your ear sharper than your elbow.